All right, this is uh, fifth grade unit two, lesson four. And in this lesson, uh, students are going to continue uh, kind of understanding that relationship between division, uh, division expressions and fractions. And then we're just gonna continue exploring that relationship with a whole bunch of uh, real life contexts. So let's get started with this. And let's see, here's our, our first uh, task is, of course, a warm up, not very surprising. We're always going to do some sort of warm up. Um, and in this case, we're going to be kind of thinking of this as a number string. And, and you as the teacher, you're probably going to reveal these problems one at a time. Uh, so, of course, find the value of each expression mentally. So what is 35 divided by 7? So, of course, we know that that might be 5. Not terribly difficult. And then what is 1 divided by 7? Okay, and that one also not terribly difficult. It's 1 seventh. So that's what we've been reviewing. Now students for 36 divided by 7, they you know, might suddenly get a little bit confused and not sure, not be sure what to, what to do with this. Um, but really we want them to connect these Ex, um, this number string together to recognize that 36 is 35 plus 1. So 36 divided by 7 is 5 plus the 1 seventh. We're taking these two things, putting them together because 35 plus 1 is 36. Therefore, our answer 5 and 1 seventh go together, and that is our answer for 36 divided by 7. In the same fashion, <clears throat> what is 37 divided by 7? Well, that's going to be 5 and 2 sevenths because we've got our 35 plus 2. That's our 37, which gives us the answers of 5 and 2 sevenths. All right, now that's a 10-minute conversation right there, parents and teachers. So feel free to milk it and allow students that think time because they've we've budgeted that amount of time in the lesson. <clears throat> All right, as we move to activity one, students are going to be in groups of three here. And uh, you, so you've got partner A, you've got partner B, and then you've got partner C. <clears throat> You're going to begin with a, an amount of time where the students are working independently by themselves on their task. So partner A has a, a a card, basically a card right here, <clears throat> and is given in for partner A, partner A is given the equation and has to come up with a situation and a picture. Um, and then partner B <clears throat> has been given the diagram and has to come up with the equation and the situation. All right, and then uh, similarly with partner C, and then in, in the second part of this activity, students are going to discuss what was the same about the, the three partners' tasks and what was different? And, you know, what can they learn from that experience? Okay, so I'm going to quickly go through this. So partner A, so partner A has been given the equation and has to come up with a situation. So 4 divided by 6 is 4 sixths. What's our story? Oh, our story might be uh, 6... <clears throat> six soccer players soccer players share uh, four liters of water because you got to stay properly hydrated how much how much water uh, water <laughs> does each player get all right so that's that situation the diagram what is that going to look like well i'm i tend to think of uh, tape diagram so there's one two three four liters of water <clears throat> and then of course each player uh, of there's six players so we're going to cut each of those into sixths boom boom and then each player gets one sixth. So there's player A uh, gets one sixth of each of those layers uh, of each of those leaders. So each player gets 
four sixths. And we could do the same thing, of course, with <clears throat> player B. Player B would get one sixth of each of those liters. So each player gets four sixths liters of water. Now, partner B <clears throat> literally, look at this, has the exact same picture. Now, player B doesn't necessarily know this yet because it, it, we're going to begin by um, students working uh, individually on their, their task. So player B, looking at this, has to recognize that this is a diagram that is saying 4 divided by 6, which is 4 sixths, and now has to come up with a situation. And I already gave you one example, and you can come up with other examples. Uh, four, um, four candy bars. Four candy bars are shared by six people. How much does each person get by, oops, by six people? How much does each person get? And then uh, person C, partner C, is now given the situation and has to come up with the equation and the diagram. So it says six students share four pounds of blueberries. Not so sure why that's a, there's a line break there, but whatever. Okay, so if six students are sharing four pounds of blueberries, got to do this in blue that we know that that's going to be 4 divided by 6, which is 4 sixths. And then we're going to use that same picture right here, uh, although player uh, partner C doesn't know that. So we're going to do 4 pounds of blueberries. So I'm going to draw 4 tape diagrams. And then each of those are going to be shared by 6 students. So I'm going to cut those up into sixths and then player A gets a sixth of each of those player B gets a sixth of each of those etc player C gets a sixth then I, you continue to D E and F A B C D E F yeah that's right is <laughs> showing that each person is going to get four sixths of a pound of blueberries now the second part of this activity is allowing students to get together and share their solutions with the group share both of your so Remember, in each partner had to fill in two of the aspects. They were given three things. One, well, they were given one, and they had to fill in the other two. All right, And then they have to talk about what's the same, what's different, what are they noticing? And hopefully they're noticing that essentially they're all three dealing with the fraction four-sixths and the division statement four divided by six. For activity two, it's about 15 minutes long, kind of just kind of really solidifying and thinking about their um, what their understanding of this stuff. So uh, partner uh, problem A, a group of three friends spend the afternoon panning for gold. They share the gold equally. Now, each friend got four thirds grams of gold. How much gold did they collect all together? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a picture of those three friends, and it's going to be a tape diagram. Here's my three friends. And it says each friend got four-thirds. So this much right here is four-thirds, this much is four-thirds, and this much is four-thirds. And so I want to know how much is it all together. And we can do the math, and we could say that four-thirds plus four-thirds plus plus four-thirds is equal to 12 thirds, which is four uh, grams of gold. Four grams of gold. All right, and so, uh, and really it's not GR, it's just G. Four grams of gold. There we go. All right. Uh, if you're not sure of that, you can say, well, Four thirds is really one plus one third, and one plus one third, and one plus one third. And so we've got three wholes, so that's three together. And then one third plus one third plus one third is our final fourth gram of gold. So, question B it says a group of friends spent the afternoon 
panning for gold. They share the gold equally, so we don't know how many people. Uh, and it says they collected five grams of gold, and each friend got five-sixths grams of gold after they shared it. How many friends were in this group? So what we need to do is we need to be thinking about, okay, so let's do gold. And I don't know how many people were in this group, but I know that each friend got five-sixths grams. Okay, so this friend, and I'm going to squeeze it in here. This friend right here got five-sixths of a gram. And then this friend got five-sixths of a gram of gold. And I'm just going to keep going until I reach five grams total. So I just need to keep going. Now, I know that my denominator, I know that my denominator is six. And so if I'm going to add these fractions up, I'm going to add five, six plus five, six plus five, six plus five, six. I need to keep going until my answer is five wholes. But if my denominator is going to be six, what does my numerator have to be so that I end up with the answer of five. Hmm. And so parents and teachers, we're going to allow our students some think time as they grapple with this. And I, they just they're going to keep going and say, how many five-sixths do I need until I finally get to, and I don't know how many, I, I might be drawing too many here. And they just need to figure out how many five-sixths do I need until I finally get a fraction that is equal to five. And some of your students might recognize, oh, our top number, our numerator needs to be 30. I get it because 30 divided by six is five. Oh, so I need enough five-sixths until I get 30 sixths. So that's pretty easy to count. We just count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ah, I don't need this. We have six friends who showed up or who are in the group. Six friends were in the group because if you have six copies of five sixths, that gives you 30 sixths which gives you five grams of gold wow that was a that was a chewy problem teacher so allow your students plenty of time to think about this and draw pictures and uh, because that's where the learning is going to be happening as students are struggling with what does this picture look like how will i represent this Let, how will i use everything from my, my previous three lessons uh, in order to attack this problem. And our cool down, five minutes real quick. It's basically complete the uh, story right here. So we've been given a situation and it says five children share four cups of milk. So that's going to be four divided by five, which is four fifths. And what does that picture look like? Uh, we're going to draw four tape diagrams and that represents a uh, copy. And that's going to represent our cups of milk. And there we go. And then it says five uh, children share. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And we can see that person A gets four fifths right there. And then, of course, we've got person B, person C, person D, person E. But we can see that each person gets four-fifths of a cup of milk. And then our one, <laughs> our one problem of practice for our, our, this connected to this lesson is, and I have no idea why there's a letter Q there. Isn't that weird? I don't know how to even erase that Q. How do you even erase it? No, I just gave a B. Good enough. Well, 
<laughs> let's just get back down here and we're just going to move on. And there we go. So, all right. So uh, problem 11 or the one problem connected to lesson four, describe a situation that that picture could represent and then write an equation. So basically this is an exact copy of our cool down that we just did, didn't, isn't it? So describe a situation. Oh, let's see. Well, we've got three things and each of those things is cut into five. So we could say um, uh, three gallons of juice is shared with uh, five people. How much does each person get? So there's our, uh, there's our story. What's the equation going to look like? It's going to be 3 divided by 5, which is 3 fifths, all right? And that, uh, let's see, that's going to wrap up uh, unit uh, 2, fifth grade, unit 2, uh, lesson 4. And, you know, don't forget to subscribe.